So I just had a crazy, crazy, crazy experience inside the grocery store. So I'm in there shopping and a dude keeps walking by me and kind of staring at me, but everyone's got their masks on and everything. And I'm thinking he might just be trying to figure out who I am. So he finally walks up to me and asks me if I'm me. And I say, yeah. And he's like, can I have a second of your time? I'm like, yeah. He's like, my name is so-and-so. And I was the air traffic control guy for Kobe's helicopter. And it just gave me chills instantly. Like I still have chills talking about it. So we just sat in the store and talked about the whole morning for like 30 minutes. I feel bad for that guy. Dude was tearing up and, and, and telling me what was going on and the communication between him and the pilot and the stuff the pilot was doing and how he's been questioned after and how he's got to have counseling and he's still shaken up by it. And, and it just, he said he wanted to reach out to uh, me and Jack via DM, uh, but he just didn't feel right doing it. But we just happened to uh, run into each other today. But it was, it was just crazy to see like the effect that obviously this still has on everyone. It's only been a few months, but we were really talking about man. Ever since that happened, it's just been a crazy domino effect of bad shit happening. Ever since Cope uh, passed, and it was a real eerie but good conversation. We exchanged numbers. Uh, we're going to talk some more about it. Hopefully, once a little bit of this stuff uh, calms down, obviously, with the uh, regulations on him being able to speak, we can uh, bring him on the show and talk about it because he said there's a bunch of bullshit ass rumors out there and stuff that's not true. But, um, man, just thought I should share that with you guys, man, because it really, like I said, touched me, shook me. I still got chills right now, but I don't know, man. I miss my brother. Rest so, rest.